Let's continue our Meet the Mayor series. We are joined by Niagara Falls Mayor Jim Diodati. Happy New Year. Good to see you. You too. Long time no talk, Bob. Yeah, it has been. So let's get talking. Actually, let's talk about a beautiful Niagara Falls last night, illuminated for a very special reason. Yeah, well, uh, Kenny Hill, obviously, uh, we're sad to hear of his passing at such a young age. And we were asked uh, to pick the colors blue and green. And uh, Kenny was known, he advocated for Indigenous rights. He was a legendary individual on and off Six Nations. I know he co-founded the Grand River Enterprises and many people really sad to see him go. He mentored so many and uh, it was just a, a way that we could salute him and, you know, say rest in peace. Yeah, a beautiful, special and rare gesture for that. Uh, how are things going in the lockdown? Well, you know, we're like everyone else. Thankfully, it seems uh, that the province has plateaued and we've been waiting for this because we know the panacea is the vaccine and it can't get here fast enough. But between now and the vaccine, we got to do all we can. Matter of fact, uh, I was speaking with Minister McLeod, Minister of Tourism, and they're uh, launching a campaign, stay at home campaign. And it's called, uh, you know, hashtag stay home Ontario. And we want to encourage everyone to stay home, to stay safe and to save lives. We're right at the finish line. This is not the time to let our guard down. We're so close, and we don't want to put any more pressure on all the frontline workers, the doctors, the nurses, all the workers in the long-term care homes. we got to do all we can do, and that's just a little bit longer. We've been at this for so long, Bob. We just got a little bit longer, so we're asking everybody. We know you're tired. We know you're frustrated. We know you want to get back to life as it was, and we're so close. But when you're this close, it's, it's the last time you want to let up. And don't let your guard down and do all you can to stay home and only go out for essential things. Yeah, have out of town guests been an issue? Well, you know, they were early on, but there's nothing to do when you come to town. The restaurants are closed. The attractions are closed. We even turned the Festival of Lights off early. Uh, you know, we don't want to encourage people to go out because we want to be respectful of the provincial order. And we know we're very, very close to getting where we need to be. And, and as I said earlier... We're just encouraging people, don't let your guard down now. I, I look at, you know, at the grocery stores, and i got to tip my hat to all the essential workers, everyone who's working because they have to, all the doctors, nurses, frontline workers, police, fire, ambulance. The list goes on and on. There's so many people making sacrifices for us, so I think we can make that little extra sacrifice to stay home for a little bit longer. It's been so tough on the tourism sector in Niagara Falls, although uh, there are some um, platforms for relief, some new grants. You know, there are, and that's what we're telling uh, business. Reach out, especially the federal government has got so many good programs, and they continually change and pivot. You know, I was reading this morning, it was quite sad, 181,000 Canadian businesses are not going to make it through this pandemic. And the sad thing is, you know, I point out to people, this these aren't businesses, these are people, these are our friends, our family, our neighbours, the backbone of our economy, encourage them, reach out to them, you know, and, and understand the stress that they're under, how they're gonna pay the bills, put food on the table, go support them, do curbside pickup, buy online from them, whatever you gotta do to encourage them to get this extra funding that's available, because when this is all over, we're gonna need them once again to sponsor our little league teams and to be involved in our communities. Yeah, lots of talk in the falls about what's going to happen to the McBain Community Center, a lot of suggestions, you've been getting a lot of emails, yeah, so the Y closed in the McBain Center, the YMCA, which uh, didn't make it through. And it's unfortunate because there's so much more competition today and their models changed. And we are asking for expressions of interest to fill that space, Bob. And we want it to be something that's going to benefit the community. And we have been overwhelmed. I've had so many groups, private groups, come to us and say we're interested. So what we tell them all, email our director of, Minas our director of uh, Rec and Culture, and she will take all of those expressions of interest, vet them, present them to council, and then we'll decide how we fill that space. It's unfortunate, but I do want to point out the Y is not leaving. They're still going to have a lot of programming in the community. They're going away from the model of these big centers because they're very expensive to operate. Okay, uh, just a few seconds left, but um, upcoming budget, um, anything for ratepayers to prepare for? <laughs> so, so yeah, it's been a challenge, Bob. And, you know, just real quickly, we're not getting our casino money for hosting casinos. That's around $25 million a year. We're not getting money for people getting on transit, which is a couple million a year. We're not getting uh, arena rentals, a couple million a year. And we're not charging penalties for people late on their taxes, which is a couple million a year. So there's a lot of things. We've given staff a huge task to come back with something as close to zero as possible so okay. we are fighting hard okay and we'll continue to get updates from you so good to see you and again happy new year niagara falls mayor jim diodati thanks bob